Hey everyone and welcome back to VFX Vibe once again. So in today's video, we are going to see how we can add fire as a 2D element in any footage. Yes, today's video is going to be a very interesting video. So be with us and without any delay, let's get started. Okay, as you can see over here, I have few plates and before starting anything, let me clear you. These all assets are from Action VFX and this is a free assets. I think uh, if I remember, they gave it free in Inferno challenge. I'm not sure. Please go and check. And uh, if these assets are free till date, you can download it and you can start practicing it. So I have three footages. So basically I'm going to use this footage for our today's session and I have few more assets like fire, like uh, more fire, some more fire embers, might be some more fire, some more fire and some smoke as well. If we need, we can use it. So for the sake of time, I'm going to use this footage as I mentioned earlier. And for the sake of this particular example, I'm going to make it night version right because fire looks better in night so let's start what i'll do first thing first i'll check if there is any movement in camera so i don't think so there is any kind of movement in camera but if you think there is a movement you can go and you can track it for the timing i'm going to disable it and let's start figuring out where i want to add my fire so probably i'll add fire on this tree on this tree probably on this tree on this tree couple of fire on ground and let's see how we have to proceed further so let's start with the adding fire over here so for this i will be needing few fires like this looks good so i have two basic elements like i can use this and i can use this so let's start with this so i'm going to control c and control v and you need to figure it out what will be the resolution of your project so probably this is usd 4k so i'm going to set my project to usd 4k and as you can see over here this is a different resolution so once i'm going to add this let's see what will happen nothing will happen right so this will something like that. But for the sake of my project, this is my personal preference. So I use this way. OK, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to take a reformat node and I'll reformat it something like that. Right. So nothing fancy in it. This is my way of working. You can start working the way you want. So let me make some space and what I'm going to do, I'm going to take a transform node, right? So that I can position it. So I'm saying my fire is too big. So let's scale it down a little, something like that. And let's manage it. So as I can see, my fire is too big and it's not matching the shape. So what I have to do, yes, I have to scale it down to match the shape of my tree trunk. So basically this is looking fine to me and trust me, spend some time on placing your elements. Once this is done, everything will be pretty easy. So I'm going to put my anchor point over here and probably I'll, I'll try to rotate it and then I'll try to fix it. Probably this is looking fine to me as to edge, And I think little bigger I want. So probably this will be the best match. Let me play it and no, probably I'll have to position it. So as I mentioned earlier, try to match shape of your fire or shape of your tree in a better way, right? So something like that, I'm pretty okay with it. I need more fire, right? So there are two ways to do that. You can copy it and you can probably you can shift the frame. So what I'm going to do, let me do that control C and control V. So I don't want any kind of repetition. So let's do that. And over here, what I'm going to do, double click over here, go to dope sheet and probably I can change my this thing, right? So what will happen? The fire won't be similar, right? So let's check and let's go over here in transform and probably I'll do this. I'll try to figure it out. So the flame of fire will be of different value, right? So it won't like it's repeating. So let me arrange it. So you, you need to spend some time over here. Yes, of course. And probably one more copy I'll be needing. So it's all up to me. If I want, I can do the same way or 
I can take a transform node over here and I can merge it. So in this way, there won't be any difference in flames. So you have to decide what you want. So I'm going over here and probably I'll match it the way I want. Probably I'll scale it a little, right? Something like that. And now it's looking fine to me. And if I am going to play it, it's all fine, right? Keep it in mind. I am just placing my fire. I'm not doing any kind of corrections. So corrections will be towards end. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to place my fire and I'll come back once it's done. Okay, so I added some more fire and as you can see over here, my these two trees are on fire and if I'm going to enable it, can you see that it's looking pretty fine to me and I'm not going to do on a, each and every tree trunk. If you want, you can do it. I'll show you in uh, at last how I did that. But let's try to add some more fire on ground fire, especially ground fire and see how we can proceed further. So what I have, I have some uh, ground fire over here. So what I'm going to do, control C and control V, I'm going over here and it might possible you can ask why you are adding all fires in one stream because I want to do a glow, a grading treatment of fire in a similar way. So I am keeping every fire in same stream. So yes, of course, for this, I need to reformat it, something like that. And directly, I'm going to merge it, something like that. And if you can see, yes, I want to position it. Probably I will position over here because I want fire over here. It's too big. So probably I'll scale it down, something like that. I want my fire to be here. Right. And probably I can rotate it. Not that much, but little I can rotate it. Something like that. So I think it's pretty fine to me. But as you can see over here, I am getting uh, overlapping over here. So how we can fix it? Just go over here. Try to make pretty rough roto. Something like that. Edges must be masks, but I'm not keep it in mind. So you have to do it precisely. So I think it will work. Probably I need to mask this part as well so roughly i'm going to mask it and what i'm going to do i'm going to use this mask out right like this so probably it will be stencil now it's working fine to me if i want i can probably i can tweak it or probably i can add some feather probably feather will be the better option so i'm going to use a blur little blur and it's all working fine if i want i can probably tweak this probably I can tweak this something like that it's all okay to me right so it's all looking fine to me but what happens you need to understand when I'm going to do this I am not able to see any effect of fire on ground if fire is there so the if impact or effect of fire should be on ground and surrounding elements so how I can do that so let's let's try to achieve that right so let me make some space and what i'm going to do i'm going to take a blur node because fire impact should be of this fire so i'm going to blur it a little more something like 200 and as you can see i have alpha and i'm going to take a merge node and with this merge with my main footage and i'm going to multiply it when I'm going to multiply it, what will happen? Nothing will uh, be visible. But in, if I'm going to take a great node and, and if I'm going to gain it up, you can easily see I am having fire impact of ground. And if I'm going to play it, you can easily see my fire flickering is also there, right? So it will be very perfect for me to do that. So what I'm going to do, let me make some more spaces and I'm going to merge it on my original footage. So what will happen? First thing first, my footage, then my impact of fire and then my fire, right? Something like that. So you can easily see I'm having my fire impact pretty nicely, right? But although it's not looking 
pretty good to me because fire must have some glow right so how i can add overall glow so let me show it to you i am going to take a node called glow like this and in glow i am going to effect only and in this glow probably the glow will be little uh, larger like 400 or 500 might be and i am going to merge it with my actual fire in plus mode which mode i'm going to use i'm going to use plus mode so can you see that the fire is glowing now but it's looking too weird to me right because the glow amount i need little bigger something like that and apart from that again i'm going to take a glow node probably let me arrange it so now let's add this is a outer glow you can say this is a outer glow and let's add a inner glow as well so how i can do that again i'm going to take a glow node and again i'm going to use effects only like this and this time i'm going to use my tolerance right probably i'll use tolerance i'll, I'll use brightness and i'll take a merge and this will be my core glow same way with plus node so as i can do this can you see that the fire treatment is changed completely right something like that so by the same way i'm going to add all my fires and i'll come back once this is done okay so here is my final comp and you can see over here lots of fire elements are there lots of uh, fogging or mist or fire mist is there so how i did that let me show it to you uh, it might possible you can see my flow is changed because uh, yes i need to change it so let's start one by one same way i added this my night fire and i started adding fire and keep it in mind i added reflection on water as well right so why not to add it right so some more fire some more fire some more fire can you see that some more fire some more fire more fire and yes by the same way and here i did something i had a lens flare so what i did i added a frame hold reformatted it and i added something like that with the help of my mask so by using this what i did i added some element in the background so as you can see yes if that much fire will be in our environment of course this kind of fire element should be there in our uh, comp right so i did this and again i overall on front camera i use this right same way and apart from that i added some burning embers kind of stuff right something like that on top of everything and i added few more things little elements falling fire something like that let me play it to you and if you can see some of my fire is falling from top so i had an element which action vfx provided us and i added in such a way like some fire are just uh, as a tree branches burning and just falling on the ground so i did that so same way i added glow same way i added core some sort of color correction i did and this is my final comp right so again i'm saying spend some more time this is like uh, four or six hours of compositing but i think you can give some more time to your comp and definitely you will have a very 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 good comp in my perspective it might possible i can add some more fire elements in the background in the foreground as well to create some more impact right so definitely i'll do that but this is the way i am going to add any kind of elements fire elements in this particular comp so hopefully this video will help you to understand the way how we can add our 2d elements uh, as a fire in any comp right so if you think that this video is helping you to understand the process of adding 2d elements please don't forget to like this video share this video and if you're new to the channel please don't forget to subscribe with this said this is VFX5 signing off. Have a good day.